nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. Check one two, check one two. Yo, is my mic working? Is it work? Ah, right, it's working. Yo, 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 yo. I said yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy. It's coming at you guys with another 2K20 demo build video. Some people might be getting tired of this, and I know others are not. It's getting good feedback. This is what people want to see right now. This is like the only like legitimate 2K20 gameplay you can find. Um, so we gonna keep coming with the build videos. So if y'all enjoying the build videos, let's get this video to 10 likes. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and drop some comments, bro. Whatever build you guys want to see me make, just drop the comments down below in the comment section, and I will be sure to make them. Now today, y'all see who we got right here? We got the beard, James Harden, Mister Never Show Up in the Playoffs, Mister all-time great regular season player um now nah, all jokes aside but though yeah james harden is really a a good player but um just had a couple of uh bad playoff runs that's really it they could have got to the finals if chris paul hadn't got hurt that year but we'll never know it's just one of those could it's a lot of things that there's a lot of ifs if this didn't happen then oh or if this didn't happen blah 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 but that's just the way how basketball history goes but straight into the um into the build now I looked at a lot of different builds, not really necessarily actually, there was only a couple that really made sense. I looked at this one, um, which he has too high of a playmaker, like his ball handling is way too high. And James Harden has really good moves to get open, so I say he's more of a shot creator and then he has that little extra couple of dribble moves he does to get good shots off, because you don't really see James Harden like... When James Harden break ankles, he just does like step backs and stuff like that and like mini crossovers. It's never anything crazy like Steph Curry or Kyrie Irving. Like, I feel like James Harden just shouldn't, he shouldn't be speed boosting on some shit. He's not a speed booster. He does step backs. So he's real crafty with the ball. So that's why I went with this one right here where he gets um the major. wait, ooh, this one is pretty good too. No. Okay, so yeah, the reason why I went with that one, you're going to see in a minute, is because James Harden is a good three-point shooter, and I wanted to find a build where it had good three-point shooting um, and good slashing. Just those two, really, really high, really good, because that's James Harden's main attributes. He's um, known to just get to the paint, shot create, and he could dunk really well, and he's also a playmaker, So, but I feel like playmaking for him comes third. Um, so yeah, obviously, you're going to pick the one that's just the fastest, because it just makes the most sense. You don't want a slow player. And right off the rip, guys, this shouldn't even be difficult to do. Literally, all you want to do is just upgrade all of his shooting, upgrade all of his um, driving, upgrade all of his passing, and then you literally just go upgrade all of his rebound, and then you upgrade all of his steal. This guy is not a defender. He's not, he's not a defender, bro. He's not a defender. Um, I think he led the league in steals last year, but that's just him getting steals. Um, he's more so of a rebounder, like he gets more rebounds than he does steals. Um, and he's more efficient with getting rebounds. So that's why I put it up as much as like at maximum. And then he's a playmaker, he's a playmaker. So you wanna have everything up all the way so you can get those playmaking badges. Um, shot creator, cause he's known to just score. Like James Harden's just shooting a ton of shots. Like he shoots so many shots, it's not even funny. And then obviously he's really good at getting to the rack. So this shouldn't be rocket science, like I said guys. Um, also, for the body type, or the body shape, you want to pick built. This man is actually really built. If you look at James Harden in real life, he's built. Um, he is 6'5", and he's about 205, he's about 200, um, 200 to 210 pounds, so you can just leave it at default, um, so you really don't mess with anything, you really don't get anything effed up. So yeah, 205 pounds. And then for the wingspan, you just want to bring that all the way down, because it's only messing up your steel and your block, but you're not, like James Harden is not a defender. And then it brings up his playmaking and his three-point shooting, which is pretty good. Um, if you want to be a little bit more realist, like realistic, you could go like that. And because James Harden is kind of an average three-point shooter, but you need that ball control as much as possible. So you want to put it to an 82. And then obviously for the um, badge, you want to put it to shot creator because that's his main attribute. He can get to the rim really well, and all of that. But shot creating, like he's really known for his step back. 
um, and all that. So yeah, shot creating definitely makes more sense. Shot creators become more effective at shooting off the dribble and can shake off defenders consistently using step back and spin gathers. That's James Harden right there. So let's see what we get. Hopefully we get the comparison of James Harden and we get the comparison of James Harden. GG's, that's what's up. We get the comparison of James Harden. I haven't watched a James Harden video or, or anything like that. I just upgraded him how I would upgrade him. And yeah, they literally gave me James Harden similarity. Um, yeah, it's just that simple. So now obviously we're gonna go to the overall test here, guys. I'm not gonna keep on saying this. Actually, yes, I am gonna keep on saying this every video because not every single person watches every single last one of my videos. So I gotta repeat it all the time. Put your player to a 99 overall simply 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 so you can um test them out what the stats maxed out will be like because this year you get to upgrade it how you want to upgrade it so it's really not rocket science you don't have to worry about any of that so um yeah i'm gonna go through the badges with you guys and then we're gonna see exactly what we're gonna pick all right so i took the time i took the time i took the time to look at these badges now first things first i'm gonna do it real easily interceptor James Harden is not a lockdown defender, guys. He was just known as simply playing the pass. Well, not he was. He is known. He's still in the NBA. But yeah, he's not a, an, like an elite defender. He really can't do any of these. <laughs> he's just really, really good at doing intercepting, getting steals from the passing lane. That's really what he's doing. Like that's the only thing he's doing on defense, honestly. Um, ankle. This this is gonna be real easy. Ankle breaker, quick first step, handles for days. Um, Lob City Passer, we'll save that for last. Space Creator, Tight Handles, and then we'll do Lob City Passer on Silver. Now, um, the reason why I do all these because like his dribble moves is really nice, honestly. Um, stop and Go, could I put that on James Harden? Is he known to be doing... Um, mm, start and Stop. Nah, I say more so just doing... I'm not gonna put on unpluggable on him because he does average a lot of turnovers. So if we're making a realistic James Harden build, we gotta we gotta go with this. Now, if you don't want to do that and you really really want to use this build, then go put unpluggable on silver. But I'm keeping it as realistic as possible. So we're gonna go ankle breaker handles for days, quick first step, space creator, and tight handles because those make the most sense. Um, unpluggable is just a badge you would put on if you really really are consider making this build for your like final build. Um, yeah, so those are the playmaking badges. On to the shooting badges now. We're gonna we're gonna keep it as realistic as possible. Let's start off with gold with these badges right here. Now, steady shooter. Um, if you guys don't know, steady shooter does decrease your open shot percentages, but it helps with your contested shot percentage. And um, if you're James Harden, all you do is take contested shots, literally. So that's why I'm putting it where it's at right now. Um, now, range extender, I'm going to put that on about silver because James Harden does have range, but he shoots a really bad percentage, but he just likes to take really deep shots. So that's why I'm doing that. Difficult shots, we'll also put that on gold because he's just known to take a lot of difficult shots. Um, dead eye, he just loves dead eye shots for some odd reason. So yeah, we're going to definitely put that up. We'll put up corner specialist on bronze because he does happen to make a few threes in the corner at times. Um... Uh, we're not gonna put on quick draw because I don't feel like his jump shot is really that yeah James Harden is not known to have a quick jump shot So I'm not gonna put on quick draw if I do it'll be on bronze maybe um, And then we'll put we'll put volume shooter and Tyler score all the way up on Hall of Fame Now the reason why I'm gonna put these two badges on Hall of Fame um, If you want to you could just take away quick draw and put difficult shots on Hall of Fame because uh, he does take a ton of difficult shots, but um yeah, difficult shots. He's known to take a lot of step backs, a lot of crazy drives to the rim, spin jump shots, all those crazy shots. That's why Dead Eye, you know what I mean? Corner volume shooter, because he just takes so many shots in the game. It's just insane how many shots he takes. Tyler scorer, because he's just scoring the entire game. Steady shooter, because he loves to take contested shots. Now, corner specialist, I'm gonna take that off and put it on steady shooter simply because he's he doesn't really take that many shots in the corner like realistically he just always taking step back step backs or drives to the rims so that's why i'm gonna put steady shooter all the way up so yeah guys this is the james harden build if you enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe and if you guys want to see gameplay on it why am i ending off the video when i didn't do the slashing badges <laughs> you would have thought the video was finished boy all right we're gonna go acrobat we're going to go Acrobat on Hall of Fame because he just known to finish. Contact Finisher Hall of Fame. He's a finisher. Um, 
Uh, so fancy footwork helps with uh, Euro steps. So we're gonna put that all the way up. We need we need a combination of acrobat and fancy footwork because that's all James Harden does when he gets to the paint. Slithery finisher also. I feel like he just slips through the defense so much. We'll do teardropper on bronze because he does like to do a lot of teardroppers. We'll put relentless finisher on gold. And then maybe we'll do, let's see. Uh, let's do Giant Slayer. So yeah, these these are looking pretty decent right here. Um, this is the James Harden build, guys. This is it right here. Obviously, I just did it just no, like watching James Harden play. That's how I really did the badges. Some people are gonna say, well, for the playmaking badges, well, you can't even put Dimer. This is the shooting guard, so you can't put Dimer on this badge right. I mean, on this build right here is the shooting guard. I just realized that. That's interesting. You only can use Dimer if you're a shooting guard. So if you really want to get that Dimer badge, you can just um switch this build to point guard, and then uh put the put the um Lob City or switch Lob City Silver to um to Dimer Silver. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this James Harden build, let me know if you're gonna use it. If you're gonna test them out, obviously I'm gonna test them out and see how well the gameplay is with him. If it sucks, then I'll just suggest you guys change the badges, and if it doesn't, I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, leave 10 likes on this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, drop your comments down below. We gonna be lit for 2K20 when it drops on the 6th. It's your boy John Ranks, and I'm out. I'm not trying to kick it, niggas be fake, so I'm keeping my distance. That shit turned to a habit, you don't really know the feeling, no you don't. You don't really know the feeling, no you don't. You don't really know the feeling, no you don't. And I'm so happy.